Hello again, you're with the Hairy Golfer at Lilybrook and today I'm doing something slightly different. I'm going to play my favourite golf holes. Now there's an awful lot to choose from here and I was going to restrict it to three holes a side and I realised I just couldn't. There's just too many to choose from. So it's going to be four holes a side plus a bonus ninth hole. Now today I've got something different with me. If you excuse me a minute, I'll get my old tool out that I haven't used in anger for 10 years. And here it is. It's a little Panasonic... Pa English language is so difficult to learn, isn't it? It's a Panasonic camcorder. Now the resolution on this, because it's so old, isn't as good as the phone but I suspect that it's zooming and focusing ability is going to be better than the phone. So I'm going to give it a go and uh, we'll see if it actually gets into any of the footage. Now, what am I going to choose as my favourite holes? Well, I'm starting here on the first and the first is one of my favourite holes. It's a fairly bland golf hole in all respects. It starts at 368 so it's a gentle start to the round of golf but there's two big trees down the right hand side you've got to avoid and you can't bail left um, the green keepers seem to be digging up a bunker today so I'm on a temporary green so I can't actually show you the green but I'm not going to drop it it's going to remain as one of the favorites um, I'd normally hit a three wood here in the summer if, you know, even from back there on the white tee, I would hit a three wood. Because at the 150 yard mark, there's, there's a little down slope that you can catch and gain 10 or 15 yards. So three wood is plenty and it helps me hit it straight. But today I'm going to go with the driver because the ground is still quite soft and I haven't warmed up very well. Yeah, I know, do as I say, not as I do, all that nonsense. teed up and ready to go but before we get cracking I've got a special ball marker in my pocket today what I've got is an American get it the right way up Simon the American silver dollar I bought five of these the first time I went to America I'm not a coin collector I just like pretty things and there's nothing prettier than a really nice silver dollar this one is from 1839 so I was about two years old when they made this well I've just lasered it it's 66 to the temporary and past the two big trees quite easily so Probably time now to start switching to the three wood off the tee, I think. Oh, bugger. 
Okay. Make a par by blading the sand wedge from 12 feet. Well, the second hole I've chosen is the fifth. Stroke index one, just over 400 yards. I'm all the way back on the competition tee here, just for the hell of it. I mean, obviously I've got a tee off uh, down there on the map. This, we head up to a raised fairway. The wind is down and out of the right. The fairway slopes from right to left. So if you can just turn it over a yard or two, everything's in your favor. You have got to get to the left side of the fairway. And then the second shot is into a very tight, narrow green. I like the questions that this hole asks you and uh, figuring out whether I can solve them. Obviously something pulled into these trees is dead and buried. If you drive out to the right, okay, you've got a second shot, but you're probably going to be playing just short of the green. You got a chance to get a par. A little bit dodgy. I think it's just off the right edge of the fairway, which is not where I want to be, really. Bloody good hit, though. I think this really shows why you want to be down the left-hand side rather than the right. It's narrow green, flag is all the way at the back today. There's a bunker on the right and there's a waist high drop off on the left. Makes you think, doesn't it? And this is why I like this hole, because it makes you think. Right, just in case the old little camera doesn't zoom in and focus very well. Right, I've got 170 to a back flag, narrow green, bunker on the right drop off on the left which is about waist high maybe a little bit more and this is why you would much prefer to be on the left side of the fairway where you got kind of like an easier shot to the green um, I got a five iron here I'm gonna see if I can cut it up and hold it up against the wind not a pretty shot so I played a second one which is now in the heart of the green typically pull the passage down right so I've got to play a little chip here and I don't want to go past the flag I leave myself a downhill putt so I'm going to be aiming at my second ball Well, the next hole on my list of favourites is the sixth hole. I love the fairway, the fact it drops down onto a flat bit after you've gone over all of the uh, contours, shall we say. The wind's a little bit off the left, which kind of uh, gets you into thinking, oh, I'm gonna, I need to aim down the left. But missing left, you are dead. Down the right, there's plenty of thick rough. And just to keep you honest, 
and then you've got an exceptionally large green at the end of it. So you need to hit it to the right portion of the green. And there's a ditch across. Now as we're um, about 35 yards in front of the competition tees, I'll be hitting a three wood. little bit of a detour. I should be over there about 30 yards but it's not a long way in. I think that's part of the reason why I like the hole. You can get down here even if you miss the fairway you've got a short iron in your hand. I've got a number eight flags on the front. I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna try and get up the green because I don't know how the ball will come out of here so I've got to assume it's gonna come out badly and short. I was right, it did come out badly, but it came out badly and straight. It's about 12 feet short of the flag. About time for a bird, don't you think? But these houses get a lot of free golf balls. Well then, if you guess the eighth hole as being the fourth on the front nine, you can have yourself a donut. Can't quite see it from here. There is, I've lost my figure, there's the big tree on the left. There's a couple of big trees on the right beyond this one that you can't see. And the fairway slopes right to left, the wind is right to left. And if you get your ball in the right position, then you can find your three wood down the hole and threaten the birdie with a pitch and a putt. If you get it wrong, then you've got to recover and hit some sort of punch. And uh, I think I'm going to tee off. Well, a very short drive. I popped it up in the air, leaked it to the right. I'm a bit snookered. Um, not too sure what the correct shot is here, so don't wobble, don't fall over. It's bloody wind. So I'm just going to try and cut the three wood around this tree. Do you think I can trust you to not fall over for a second? Give me, give me one minute. Goodness sake. there's the tree I hit. I had a good look, good look around the bottom and I thought, I can't find it. I thought, well it can't be still up there. And it wasn't. Spat it out all the way over the far side of the fairway here. Right, I got about 175 to a back flag. I'm not too sure I can hit the five iron good enough to get there. So let's try the four. Whoops. Like most of my swings today, over the top, off the toe, not exactly what you'd call penetrating. But I missed the bunker by uh, that much. Well that's ruined the recording hasn't it? So that's the four favourite holes on the front line done. Or is it? Perhaps I recorded one of the others to go on the end as a bonus. 
just had some guy come up behind me going at a million miles an hour, pushing real hard. It made me foul up the recording. So we'll let him through on nine. And uh, then we can get onto the back nine and do the four favorite on the back nine. Well, we're in the middle of the nine fairway. We're not quite on the back nine yet. But I just thought I'd share this with you, even though it's windy. A bit of sunshine touching the top of the hills there. Let's spin me back around. And there's the ninth green. My ball is right in the heart of it, from the heart of the fairway. So I'm going to have to apologise to James, my coach, for the shots I've hit so far on the front nine. While I let that guy through, I had a little think about the lessons that I've had so far, and I've just drilled a driver. Mid flight, beautiful. And then I've just struck a six iron. You know that sound you get when you hit a forged club out of the middle on a soft golf ball, that sound. Yeah, I hit that one good and proper. Thanks James at Gloucester Golf Coaching. I'll see you on the 28th for my next lesson. Right, that guy who I let through is well gone so I can start walking again. Nobody behind, Millionaire's Golf.